Hello! As you can see in this tutorial, we are going to be going over how to create shadows coming on to kind of the background of our scene, which looks really cool and it's a really neat effect. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this tutorial. Alright, so we are here in Blender, a fresh scene. Ooh, I love fresh scenes. Anyway, what are we going to do? We are going to go ahead and switch this from Blender Render to Blender Game. And also going to come down here to this panel here by clicking in while hovering over the viewport and change this from Moto Texture to GLSL and do not select that. And then we're going to go ahead and switch this to Textured Mode. Yes, so now we have a nice setup scene. So let's go ahead and move this cube up as well and let's add a plane. So this plane is going to be what the shadows, what am I saying, are going to be cast on to. Um, Alright, so what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to come over here to the lamp and we're going to add, a, uh, sorry, we're going to change this to a sun. So just click on sun and as you can see the shadows are showing up. Alright, so everything looks fine here. So let's change this from simple to this one up here, to the top one. And we're also going to go ahead and change this middle value to the lowest one. So just drag it down to its 0.001. And there we go. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and drag this out. And I'm also going to switch this to the node editor. So let's go ahead back to our main material, uh, uh, sorry, plane. And we're going to add a material to this. And we're going to click new. And we're going to go ahead and come up, let me switch it out, to this little button here, which is use node materials to render the material. So if we click that. Now what you'll see is we have this kind of working as what we wanted. Uh, no, sorry, no, what am I saying? It's completely black and we don't want that. So the way we can fix this is we want it to be a mask for our shadow. So we want the shadow to be black here and then the rest to be transparent. So how do we do that? Let's delete this material, not needed. And we're going to go input. We're going to come down to lamp data. Going to grab that and we're going to connect the shadow up to the color. And you see nothing's changed. That's because we need to select a lamp. So we're going to get this eyedropper tool and just click on lamp. Now you could alternatively select it from here, but make sure you do not select other things like cameras and uh, other objects. I'm pretty sure it will crash Blender. I'm not sure with these kind of objects, but I know it crashes the, it crashes that if you select the camera with this. So. Make sure you select the uh, lamp or you select it from this list. But now that that's done, as you can see, now we have a mask. Oh, it's really quite a nice mask. So working all fine. So let's go ahead and make sure that's plugged into alpha. So just grab that, drag it into alpha. And it's all black. We need to fix that. So come down here to render pipeline options, enable transparency. There it's working. Let's go shift A, color, invert, drop that in the middle. And as you can see, now the color is working. So let's go ahead and add a color, mix RGB, and we're going to set this to black. All right. So we're going to drag that to a point where it looks like it's overlaying on the scene quite nicely. So as you can see, we have a bit of the color coming through, but it does look quite nice now. Now, one thing to note is we can also go and go Shift A, add lamp Himi. Himi. And this Hemi is going to be the lamp. Uh, so this Hemi is giving us a nice effect of the kind of the lighting on the side, which is quite useful and looks quite nice. So that we're just adding it in to get some nice lighting here. Um, not super necessary, but it works for what we need. And we're also going to go ahead and drag this down, turn the light down a bit as well. So there we go. As you can see. Um, if we go only render, we've got these problems here as well, so we should be able to fix it. Um, let's go ahead and just come back here and turn that off. Um, so let's grab our sun lamp. As you can see, it's on the corners, so we should be able to actually grab this. Oh. No, so that's got to be turned down. Um, hmm. 
still doesn't seem to be showing up here. So it seems to be fine here. So just scale this out till it's really large. And that should work. So just scale it out until it's a nice large thing where you can't see the edges anymore. And there we go. Now it is working for what we want. And it works. So this is a basic effect. You could have a more complicated one and so on. But this is a great effect if you kind of want your cube, player, whatever. It could, um, I know character selector or something could be quite useful for something like that. Just to be kind of sitting on the background and not worrying about doing stupid things with lots of different stuff. But um, to make it work. But there is the basic effect. It looks quite nice on a lot of things. So if you want to see more tutorials like this and tutorials on other subjects, I come out with a new tutorial every single week on a different subject. But have a great week. Keep blending. Any feedback would be highly appreciated.